Hi, welcome to Flight Test. I'm Josh and this is Dave. Hi. And we have a problem. Yes, we do. A big problem. Yeah. Bigger motors, bigger wires, bigger problems to solder them. There's a solution to soldering these two together in a proper way to okay. get a good bind here. Okay. So what you need is thick stranded wire like speaker wire, whatever, just okay. as long as it's thick stranded. Okay, you need that and you need to pull them out. So you need a big piece of that. Okay. Okay, good. Okay, some people put the wires just next to each other and try to solder them and it's horrible. Try to, to tin both of them, right? Yeah. To do this properly, what we're going to do is just shove these wires into each other. Let them intermesh. Yes. So Very nice. you see how much they poke out. So you just flatten this. So then you take your stranded wire and you start wrapping it over here and then you wrap around both wires because now i can't even pull this apart so this is gonna relieve stress from the solder joint okay. usually if you just put them together and solder uh, eventually it's gonna break that's the weakest link in other words yes and that hasn't even been soldered yet and it's already stronger than a conventional solder joint that's butted up against each other yes so let's nice. solder this what you want to do is start tinning this and you need a proper soldering iron for this too. You need a lot of power behind it. It's because the components has to be warm for the solder to penetrate. So that's how you do a proper solder joint. Bro, that's amazing. Isn't it? Uh, the solder even flowed into the wires itself both ways. It does. Since it's so compressed, it heats up both wires really okay. well and the solder just flows really nicely. Because basically if you don't do a good solder joint, what happens? Your plane is going to crash. 